four months after Macedonia held its parliamentary elections, the former Yugoslavian Republic is still without a government. The Social Democrats, with the support of minor parties, have a parliamentary majority, but they're being blocked from power by the right-wing former government. East and West have also clashed over the result, with Moscow backing the former Prime Minister and the EU and the USA supporting the Social Democrats. Since the vote, Russia's interest in the Balkan country has been increasing, according to the president of the Social Democrats' party. The Russian influence can already be felt here through the increased personnel presence and the statements from the Russian Federation Minister for Foreign Affairs, as well as through the activities of their embassy here. A trend of falling support for the EU and NATO is noticeable among the citizens here. The percentage of the decline is very small, but nevertheless visible. If no new measures are undertaken in regard to the low interest of the EU and the USA in this region, Russia will have more space to impose its own interests. He claims that without sufficient action from the EU and the USA, Russia's hand in the country's affairs would be strengthened. But the head of the Macedonian diplomacy played down suggestions of Russian interference. Russia can have its own interests and it is legitimate, but this question can be put forward to any of the current member states of the European Union too. It's not something that is exclusive to our region or let's say candidate and potential candidate countries from the Balkan states. Historically speaking, the Balkans has always been attracted the attentions of Russia on the one hand and of the Western powers on the other. The current tensions within EU-Russia relations inevitably reflect upon the region as well, worsening even more its already acute fragility. Borja Jovanovski for Euronews from Skopje.